Hi Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on the Fool's Journey Tarot. This is a general love reading for the sign of Libra. For this upcoming week in September, today is Tuesday the 8th. So I, I've had to restart this video because I keep saying Virgo and I'm being ridiculous. So if I say, I'm gonna say it ahead of time because I'm not restarting this video again. If I mistakenly call you Virgo, I apologize. I just did Virgo and for some reason it's stuck in my head. So maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, maybe, you know, there's something there for you. But anyway, this is a reading for Libra. It's a general love reading, which means it can apply to just about anything in your life, relationships or otherwise, so bear that in mind. Also remember to be flexible with the energy. Don't be overly concerned about the gender of the cards. You can mix and match the roles within the reading. That means, of course, that you might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. Parts of the reading may resonate and other parts may not. So take what does and leave what doesn't. My intention is always to reach those that need this message and will benefit from it. So Libra, here we go. Uh, let's see what's in the cards for Libra for this coming week in September. We're going to start off with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Paired with the Magician in reverse. Seven of Wands. The Hierophant. Five of Cups in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Page of Cups. So Libra, um, I'm not getting a, a super significant message just yet, but I do feel like you might be dealing with somebody, a King of Swords, Magician in Reverse individual. Who might be trying to manipulate a situation with his words. Uh, I feel like th this person that you might be dealing with might be giving you false information. You might actually be seeking help from this person or guidance from this individual. And I feel like this person um, is steering you in the wrong direction. So I, I have kind of a little bit of um, feeling a little bit wary, a little bit um, cautious about this particular individual. Now this could be your energy. But as it stands right now, I feel like this is somebody that you could be dealing with, Libra. Uh, it's possible this person could be making you feel a little insecure, uncertain about yourself. Because I think you are actually seeking out some guidance or some help from this person. So let's get some more cards out here and see what this is all about for Libra. We have the Three of Pentacles. Five of Cups in reverse again. Sorry, my son's alarm went off and the bird's squawking. She does that every time. I, you can't really hear the alarm, but you can hear her. She comes in loud and clear and <laughs> unclear. I had her out for Virgo, but decided to take a break. Anyway, back to your reading. Um, chariot. The Hierophant again, clarifying the Hierophant. The Fool in Reverse. Here's what I was feeling from the beginning from this person. Um, six of Swords. Three of Cups in Reverse. Clarifying this King. And then the Seven of Cups. But it's in the upright this time. So I think you're, you're definitely could be questioning the sincerity of this, this individual. This King of Swords is, um, is trouble. 
And by trouble, I just mean, I feel like they're giving you bad or wrong advice or they're trying to manipulate a situation. And I think that, I think you're actually seeking this person out for guidance or support, but you might be questioning the sincerity of this individual or their intentions. Because I think that this person is, this King of Swords feels significant to me. It feels like a significant person to you, Libra. And I feel like in the past or, you know, present or ongoing, I feel like you've seen this person as kind of um, the Hierophant, somebody very wise, maybe a, a teacher or somebody who's, who, who um, you seek out um, support, help, guidance, um, information, wisdom. But I feel like you actually, this person's significant and you, you probably sought them out for help or guidance on an ongoing basis, I feel this could be like a father figure to you, but I feel at this point in time, this person might have an ulterior motive. And I think that the reason, at least what I'm seeing in the cards right now, Libra, is there is um, a need to, to gain some um, sure-footedness, I'm gonna put it that way. I feel like you might be feeling a little insecure and uncertain about something. So you may have gone to this, this individual, this King of Swords individual, to um, boost your confidence a little bit. Maybe this is somebody you, you, you know, seek out on a regular basis to, for support, for guidance, like I said. Um, and, and I feel like this, that could be happening for you right now. Um, and I think that this person has provided that for you in the past, but at this point in time, there's something going on with this individual. There's, there's something about the situation where, again, I think that you're, you're seeking this person out for some support in some way, maybe for some healing. You have the five of cups in reverse here, but um, the fool can indicate being wary or cautious because again, I feel like there's some manipulation going on here. Or something's not quite right or it's not the same it's not what you it's not what you normally get from this person because I think that again there might be some ulterior motive behind maybe the advice this person is giving you could have to have to do with maybe the people you're surrounding yourself with Libra or this could have to do with um, some people that this person, this King of Swords, doesn't trust. Um, I feel like there's other people involved in this, or this could be, the, the other people could be influencing the actions or words of this King of Swords. So let's get, um, let me give this third deck one more good shuffle. Get some more cards out for Libra. Let's see what else we get. Eight of Swords. The World. Eight of Swords and the World coming out to me. That's indicating, um, and with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups here. To me, this is indicating this again. This this feels like a long-standing relationship, or someone some that you have a connection with that you've known for a long time, or that you've sought out support for for a long time. It's it's kind of a repeated thing for you. Again, this could be a father figure, a mentor, a teacher, a boss, someone of that nature that you um, have sought out support from before, and so it's just expected. It's something that you you've always done, so you continue to do it because this is the this is your go-to. This is your go-to guru, Libra. But he might be steering you in the wrong direction this time. Which feels troublesome to me, if I'm being honest. It's, it's a little bit um, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable energy. So we have the Emperor. This is this person again. They, I think they have a lot of... Um, they've had, held a lot of power or influence in your life. With the Emperor and the Hierophant twice out here, the Chariot, I mean, this person this person has held a lot of influence and has had a big impact on your life, Libra. Hangman in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. Two 
two of swords in reverse. King of Pentacles. This is clarifying the um, King of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this King of Pentacles is coming out clarifying this King of Swords. So, and again, he's also represented by this Emperor and the Hierophant. This person is somebody very significant, wise, intelligent, reliable most of the time. This person is somebody who's very loyal, typically very compassionate, very understanding. Um, but there, he's, he's turned on you a little bit. And I think it's because of kind of some kind of situation you might be finding yourself in Libra, or maybe the people you're surrounding yourself with, but this person, I think this person is, maybe the King of Swords in reverse is indicating that this person is giving you advice that you don't like. But I think it's because he's trying to manipulate, he try, he's trying to influence you because I think there's something about um, a situation you could be in or people that, that are surrounding you that this person doesn't trust. Could be that he wants you to um, feel cautious and wary about a situation because he doesn't trust a situation. So I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind about this King of Swords, and it could be also because I'm now I'm I feel like I'm reading a little bit um, from the perspective of this King of Swords now instead of your perspective, Libra. If I'm being honest, I feel like in invite this could be vice versa. So this could be your energy, this King, this Emperor energy, and male or female it doesn't matter. But this is somebody who is very wise, somebody who provides um, support and um, opinions and guidance to others. This is someone who sought out for that purpose with the king of pentacles coming out in this emperor energy this is somebody who's in large and in charge and this somebody this is somebody who typically um you would absolutely go to this type of person for the kind of advice libra i think you're seeking but i think part of the problem here is that this king doesn't like what he sees or he doesn't like what he knows about a situation you might be in libra So it could be too that because this person knows they have they have the kind of influence that they do have on you that um, they're using that leverage to steer you in the direction they think that you should go and it could be as simple as them saying look um, if you're feeling unsure about the situation and seeking out my guidance because you're not feeling secure about the situation then your gut's already giving you the answer you need. You need to get out. I think this person, this king of swords, is, is telling you to get out of a situation. I don't think that you want to hear that, though, Libra. That's what I'm getting. The sense that I've getting, been getting from the beginning is that you feel like you could be being manipulated by this person or wrongly influenced in a manner that... I don't think you like the words that are coming out of this king of swords' mouth. That's what's going on here. You don't like what you're hearing. But it could be that this person is actually trying to protect you. Trying to make you see that if you're not feeling secure about the situation, if you're not feeling certain about it, if you're thinking maybe this is the wrong path, maybe I'm going the wrong direction, I need to seek out the so-and-so, this king of swords, and make sure I'm doing the right thing. And he's saying, you know what, you're not doing the right thing. Your gut's telling you what you should be doing, and that's be cautious about what you're getting yourself into. So Libra, honestly interesting reading so far because within uh, three sets of cards I went from seeing your perspective and kind of being annoyed and pissed and being a little bit wary about this king of swords and what his intentions are or were regarding the situation I've now changed my mind about this um, especially with this king of pentacles coming out here in the upright and the emperor you may want to uh, listen to what this person has to say or tr trust this person whereas I feel like you don't really want to trust this person because I don't feel like you're saying what you want them to say I think uh, what I'm getting Libra is I think you would like this person to confirm for you 
something that you want or hope for that in your gut is telling you is the wrong thing, but you still want it so bad you want some confirmation from this King of Swords. And he's seeing it the way your intuition is seeing it. And he's like, no, get out and get out fast. That's what this King of Swords is saying. So let's see what else we get. We've got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse this time. Interesting, up here with this magician. So this would be your perspective again. You don't trust this person to the point where you might want to, you're considering maybe walking away from um, seeking out this individual's advice or seeking to work with this individual. Maybe, maybe you're feeling even a little resentful to the point where, you know what, I don't need to listen to you. I'll go to somebody else. That's what I've got from those cards. Libra doesn't trust this king of swords in this moment in time because I think you have trusted this person in the past. Five of swords in reverse. Page of cups in reverse. This time it's in the upright over here. Four of wands. Seven of Wands, again. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, again. And Six of Wands. So this king, this king is like, no, don't do it. Don't trust these people. I feel like you're involved in some kind of group um, situation, some kind of, maybe it's a work dynamic. Maybe it is a project. Maybe it, there's something that this king is saying, no, don't do it. King of Pentacles twice is stagnation, um, an inability to move forward. This king of uh, pentacles king of swords person doesn't want you to move forward with this situation and it feels like it has to do with the people that you're involved with four of wands came out here this could have this could be related to a long-term goal or something that that would involve um, an investment or a period of time where you'd have to make a commitment and that could also be what has the um, sirens going off for this King of Swords. Is there's a certain level of commitment that he thinks that possibly is telling you, look, that's not, it's not the right way to go. It's not safe. And again, with this page of cups, I feel like this is, re this is representing your energy. And again, I say your, Libra, so I just want to remind you, I feel like I'm reading for the person who's dealing with this King of Swords, but you could be this King of Swords. I feel like um, this Page of Cups is actually representing your energy. At this point in time, you don't want to accept what this individual, the Hierophant, the King of Swords, has to say. The advice is being given. I don't feel like you want to accept it. Whereas normally you would. The page is over here also. But you're perceiving it differently than you, than you might normally perceive this advice or this guidance that this person is giving you. And again, I think these cards are representing your energy and kind of how you're feeling about this person. That they're kind of manipulating you maybe for their own gain or for their own reasons. Um... But Libra, if this is your energy, I can tell you, I think this person is extremely wise and knows what he's talking about. And in this case, maybe the words feel manipulative to you, but I don't think he's trying to steer you in the wrong direction. I think he's feeling um, defensive for, for you. I think he's feeling um, like he's protecting you or trying to protect you from maybe getting involved in a long-term investment or something long-term that's going to require a significant amount of commitment that just doesn't feel right 
Don't sign any contracts right now, Libra. Um, don't make any hasty decisions. Even if you decide not to take this person's advice, because I'm not here to tell you what to do, and everybody's situation is going to be different. If you decide to move forward um, and not go... Um, and go against the advice of this individual, just be very cautious. Just be very cautious. Queen of Swords in reverse. I think that's your energy, this Queen of Swords. Feeling pessimistic, feeling maybe even angry, maybe pissed, maybe even, you know, maybe there's a little bit of a silent treatment or unwillingness to communicate going on here because you don't like what you're what you're hearing or what's being said or how the conversation is going I think it's affecting the relationship um, lovers in reverse I think this is a significant relationship to you again this, this could be um, one of those long-standing relationships I feel father figure a lot but this could be someone who kind of acts in that manner just that that wise um, individual that you go to for support and help doesn't have to be a father figure but that's the kind of energy I've got from this person page of swords ace of swords in reverse the um, hangman in reverse again Five of Wands, Two of Cups, and then the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this may not be true for all of you, but this could be true for some. Um, aside from this King of Swords not wanting you to move forward within this group of people or the social circle or this project or this work environment, whatever the case may be, he doesn't want you to move forward with it. It could be that you're also being influenced on the other end by somebody else who's significant to you. This could be a romantic partner. Um, this could be somebody who maybe you're pursuing in that manner. But I think that what you're hearing from another point of view is probably opposite of what you're getting from this King of Swords. You might be influenced, Libra, by someone within this group dynamic, this project, this workplace situation, whatever this is that, that I feel like you want to move toward, you might be influenced by somebody significant who is trying to encourage you and you're seeking out the advice maybe of this King of Swords to get a second opinion and his second opinion is not matching what you wanted to hear. That's what's going on here. And I'm going to say this, Libra, because I feel strongly that you really want to, I think you really want to move toward whatever this King of Swords doesn't want you to move toward. I feel like you want this. But I also think it, it's going to require um, a commitment, um, maybe an investment. Maybe there's money involved here. Um, but with the Fool in Reverse... Ace of Ace of Swords in reverse. I don't. I don't think. I think your gut is telling you you don't have a um, crystal clear picture of what this is going to look like for you if you decide to take on this commitment. And due to the fact that you don't have a real click, clear picture of what this is going to look like, those uh, sirens, the red flags, are popping up everywhere. And this king sees it. King sees it, you've gone to him for advice, or maybe he's giving his advice unsolicited. Maybe that's why you're in the reverse up here. I didn't ask for your advice. I didn't talk to you about this. I'm making this decision on my own, King of Swords. I don't need your input. Maybe that's what Libra's saying. I never intended on asking you your opinion. 
and here you are giving it. But this king, king is doing that because he sees a different perspective of the situation. So Libra, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Again, um, everybody's situation will be different. But the cards are indicating you need to be very, very cautious. Be very, very cautious. Read the front fine print. Maybe get a lawyer if this is something that big. Um, cover your bases, dot your I's, and cross your T's is what I would say based on what I'm seeing in the cards. So I'm going to take this Dreams of Gaia Tarot card, and it's Love in Reverse. And then we're going to wrap this up. I'm doing pretty good on time today. Um, it's really dark in here because of this haziness we have. I don't know if I mentioned, but we've got fires nearby, and the haziness has these clouds looking like it's the middle of winter. Um, so this Love in Reverse card, it is a major arcana card in this deck. The major arcana cards are pretty different than your traditional Rider weight major arcana cards. And um, if they're in reverse, it's a potential blockage. So this is just about a half a page long. I think, before I even read this, I think that, you know, this is an emotional decision for you because there's been a lot of cards that have indicated there potentially could be um, a couple of different significant relationships that are influencing your decision regarding the situation. It feels like one could potentially be um, someone a little bit newer in your life, maybe a new friend, new colleague, new coworker, maybe even a new romantic love interest. And the fact that um, the two people that you're relying on for advice and guidance seem to have conflicting opinions. I think that this is turned into an emotional decision for Libra rather than a head over heart decision. Which if I'm reading the cards correctly, I think this king might be saying, look, um, you know, if you're not clear about what's going on here, look at this in a more logical sense. Take the emotions out of it and, and use your head. And so before I even read this card, that's kind of where I'm going with it. But let's see what this potential blockage is for you, Libra, and then we're going to wrap this up. Here we go. One of the most difficult things to do is remove a person from your heart. To let go of love when it no longer serves us is sometimes easier said than done. But there comes a time when it is necessary to release the dreams and fantasies about what was and accept the reality of what is. If a relationship is over, yet you still hold on to what is not meant to be, you risk closing yourself to a new relationship. The right one may be there in front of you, but you cannot see it because your heart and head are full of thoughts of the wrong one. When the love card appears reversed, it may be suggesting that it is time to say goodbye. However, it may also be time to say goodbye to the negative speak that goes on in your mind. If this is the message for you, say goodbye to that voice, tell it to hush, tell it that you are breaking up with it and that you are no longer listening. While there might be some times when the voice is your conscious guiding you, if the love card appears reversed, it signifies that in this circumstance, it is a petty little voice that needs to be ignored because it is merely fear preventing you from doing what you know will make you happy. So honestly, um, Libra, I think that this card is indicating that this situation could go either way, and that's probably true since this is a general reading, that, um, you know, you may end up following your heart and saying goodbye to this person, saying, you know, I know you, you, you've put a lot of um, time and effort into helping me out in the past. At this point in time, I just don't agree with... Um, with what you have to say or what kind of guidance you're offering. Um, I'm going to follow my heart in this situation and go in the direction that I want to go regardless. So this card could be indicating that, that maybe, maybe your gut is right about this person for some people, that this person is just not, not supportive in this situation and that's really what you were looking for was some support maybe not the criticism cr criticism or the the naysayer speak right um and then on the other hand you know like i said 
my feelings from this set of cards, Libra, if I'm being totally honest, is that this person does have your best interest in mind and they may be communicating in a manner that feels a little bit manipulative, but I, I think it's because they're trying to protect you. If I'm being totally honest, I think they're trying to protect you. Um, and it just may feel uncomfortable because it's not what you wanted to hear. So, you know, obviously your decision, you decide what you need to do in this situation. I hope, I wish all the best for you. I hope that this reading was helpful in some way. I hope that it resonated for you. So I really appreciate you watching and I really appreciate you joining me today, Libra. Thank you so much. And if it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye, Libra.